one, of course, another game that's not happening in their home because of the renovation. So this one, once again, back out in Rosemont, Illinois. And three-pointers were everywhere. How hot were these guys early on from deep? And what a luxury when you can knock down shots, get your first one to go. The confidence definitely grew from there and Northwestern able to build that lead in the first half. They made seven of their first eight three-point attempts. That last one from Gavin Skelly, previously Vic Law, Scotty Lindsay. They're up big early on. Here's Law finding Skelly once again. Beautifully done. 44 gets up high and the Cats are up 17. The next possession, Anthony Gaines with the defense off the miss. Jordan Ash can clean up. Cats are up by 17 at the break. Second half, Scotty Lindsay, the team leading scorer. Four games ago, he had zero points against Georgia Tech. He's been pretty good ever since. And his confidence is just built and built and built from that point on. Definitely looking like the player that we've seen the last few years in the Big Ten, a guy that Northwestern needs for them to compete in this conference. He gets a steal. He gets a three. He's in the lane here, laying it off the glass and in. He ends up with 13 points on the day. Later in the second half, Brian McIntosh. Not an offensive explosion, but they don't need that from him. Gets the runner there. Here's Derek Pardon. Cross court to Vic Law. Law was really the star. We're talking five three-pointers made, 18 points in total. Under nine minutes to go, Anthony Gaines in transition. This thing was over. 84 to 50 is your final score. John Crispin with head coach Chris Collins. Coach, this game seems to justify some of what we've been seeing over the past couple of weeks. What can you say about the turnaround of your program? We're getting better. You know, we uh, sometimes you got to get knocked to the pavement to, to reestablish what's made you good. And to our guys' credit, they've gotten in the gym, they've gotten to work, and we've reestablished our defensive identity. And I'm really proud of how we've been playing the last couple weeks. Hopefully we can keep it going moving forward. You got great bench production tonight. How key is it to get your starters going so they can set the tone early? No, it's it's huge. And now you got guys like Anthony Gaines. Gavin came in, gave us good minutes. Barrett Benson as a backup. Isaiah and Jordan, you know, we're getting some guys to come in, give us valuable minutes so we can get some of those main guys a few rests throughout the game and keep them fresher for the end. Any thoughts on the importance of those first two Big Ten, Big Ten games as a barometer to get you guys back into that mindset that you had last year? Well, it was no fun as a coach, but I'm sure it was great for the fans. But to play two games in three days and against high-quality opponents, you really find out where you're at. And fortunately, we were able to get one of those games, had a tough loss at Purdue, and we got a few more non-league games before we get going back with the conference again in January. All right, thanks, Chris. Back to you guys in the studio.